Now, good Friday to you. It's time for our weekly What's Buzzing segment, and you guys may have noticed I have a new face. Yes. That's Isela Perez. She is a dancer for the Sacramento Kings. How are you? I'm doing well. Excited to be here. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to weigh in on this. Are you familiar with Planet Fitness? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. I used to be a member okay. uh, a few years back, and, and this is a story that has gotten so much attention this week. A California woman who says that she was working out at her Planet Fitness, and the gym told her to cover up because they said that she was too toned and that other guests were complaining. Take a look. I don't feel like it's anything crazy, but I mean, you can tell me if it's burning your eyes. Or <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Tiffany Austin. She lives in Richmond. She's angry because she feels like she was judged by her own gym. And Planet Fitness is a gym that claims to be a judgment-free zone. Uh, Planet Fitness said several members complained about Austin's attire. They said it had nothing to do with her physique, but more about the dress code policy that they have. And a staff member offered her a shirt to cover up. So they're saying that she wasn't wearing enough at the gym but to me that outfit wasn't so offensive what do you think i completely agree i was actually expecting like way less material <laughs> yeah something um i don't know i feel like they should be people should be motivated by seeing somebody toned in maybe a little less clothing but there was nothing offensive about her outfit i mean that would make right. me worry going there and, and wanting to work out if you know, people are going to be offended about something that I'm wearing, even if it's not, especially if it's not. Haven't you seen people wear less at the gym? Than yes, that? I have. Yeah. And, and if anything, I'm like, I want to look like that or, right. you know, maybe use it as motivation for myself. For those of you who don't know, uh, Planet Fitness has a lunk alert, a lunk alarm. It's like a siren on the wall. And if you grunt too heavily or if you drop the weights, <laughs> the receptionist at the desk hits a button and it sounds that alarm and you're humiliated. You're and embarrassed. you've been lunked, haven't In you? front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. They did it to me <laughs> when I was a member there. I had a pair of 50 pound uh, dumbbells and I was doing reps at 20 and you get tired and I kind of dropped them, but I wasn't doing it to show off. They sounded the alarm. I was embarrassed. <laughs> you sounded the alarm. Yes, the lunk <laughs> alert. They said I was a lunk and I told the reception, I said, why did you do that? It was, I'm not showing off here. Yeah. And I canceled my membership. Yeah, that was I would it. too, definitely. That Funny. was it. You know, there's been a lot of talk lately about uh, Photoshop. Of course, Target was in uh, some hot water over a picture that was released recently. Now Old Navy is joining the list. And take a look at this picture because it comes from a plus size mannequin. These jeans, you'll notice that gap right there in the center yeah. uh, of the thighs. Right. People are saying that they unrealistically airbrushed this plus size section of the jeans uh, to make this mannequin appear to be thinner than uh, in reality. Uh, Old Navy said they don't use any photo altering techniques. Uh, they basically pin garments on body forms and then remove the pins in post-production. Uh, and as I mentioned, Target also has a picture that's coming up pretty soon that you'll be familiar with. But my question is, you know, first off, we know photoshopping exists, mm -hmm. but is this putting a lot of pressure on women to uh, be an unhealthy, uh, thin, you know, to, to lose a lot of weight, to try to get that gap right, in their thighs? Right, right. Um, you know, I really don't think it is. And I think that's because most of society is well aware of Photoshop. You yeah. know, we're aware of like the marketing techniques that certain businesses will use to make us want to buy things, I hope. You know, right. that's kind of where women are, I think, in this day and age. I know before it was kind of an issue maybe for younger women. Um, and they're worried about skewing the image of what women should really look like. But I mean, I don't think that that is a really big deal. Um, and I kind of think that they're taking heat for no reason. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my opinion though. I, I mean, I guess it depends on the person. I'll never have that gap in my thighs. My <laughs> thighs are too thick. They rub together when I run. They're meaty. How do you feel about that? <laughs> None of us will ever look back closely to find right. out. We really don't need to yeah. know that. <laughs> so that's never going to happen. Yeah. Uh, and I want to end with this. Uh, there was a woman who ran a half marathon in New York City, and she was all about the selfies. People love selfies. Right. You know, they're always doing this when they're driving. In fact, I saw you take a picture on your way to L.A. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, but anyway, look at this picture. She was running this half marathon, and she said that anytime she came across what she considered to be a hot guy, she would sprint up in front of them and then take a selfie so that the guy was in the background. Oh my gosh. Surprising? Uh, yeah. <laughs> During the marathon? During the marathon. Hey, that's one way to kill time. <laughs> Are all these guys hot, though? Um, 
personal opinion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just feel like, it, but yeah. if you're in the public, you're kind of susceptible to stuff like that. Right. But I still wouldn't do that. That's focus kind of on the run, right? Yeah. Focus on the workout. Should be sweating. Yeah. yeah. Don't you think it's when the, the selfies going off the rail here? I mean, this is. Well, it's a yeah. little too much. Yeah. It's right? a little been too off much. the rail for a while. True. Mm -hmm. Very true. But I really like the facial expression that goes along, like with hers. Right. Depending on what the guy looks like, it's like, ooh, ah, like. <laughs> I still think at the next Kings game you should do it during your performance. I will. Take a selfie. I'll do that tonight. And post it. Tonight? Tonight. Okay, and great. Isella, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. And we will have a lot more on News 10 at 9 coming up after the break. Stay with us. We got something good on Monday now. Bye.